So if you're in a condition right now where you're not the best person that you can be, but you know that you can be better, then trust the process of Allah because just like those magicians, you can turn our hearts as well, Allah. Muhammad. Muhammad. <laughs> when you think and see people as kuffar, you treat them as kuffar. Let me ask you this. If you view someone to be your brother, a family member, a loved one, someone you care about, when you speak to them, wouldn't you speak to them with a little more gentleness and care? Versus a kuffar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kuffar. Think about it. Way of Life SQ. Keeping it a hundred. Let's go. Let's go. Just one question away from an iPad. Chill out, bro. Chill out, Batman. I let him Google an answer. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are here for another Dawa social experiment using... Okay, we are here right now making this video. And at first I was thinking to myself, what should the video be about? I seen this video with the CNN employee Van Jones crying for Muslims, crying. Well, it's easier to be a parent this morning. It's easier to be a dad. It's easier, it's easier to tell your kids character matters. It matters. Telling the truth matters. Being a good person matters. And it's easier for a whole lot of people. If you're Muslim in this country, you, you, you don't have to worry if the president doesn't want you here. And upon seeing that, my first thought was like, wow, this is obviously very sincere and beautiful. And it's sad how we view every non-Muslim to be a part of like some conspiracy, Illuminati, some type of enemy of Islam. They're here to liberalize us and they're prepared to change. I'm not denying that people like that exist. I just don't think that that should be the default that you and I revert to when it comes to um helping people or thinking about new strangers or people that we don't know guys all right look we're just getting started into this video right now and walk away from you guys a little remind you all that one of the sponsors for our videos our partners is my tezkia my tezkia is an online program that helps people get rid of uh, pornography sex masturbation addictions all these things even if you do them all at one time they help you get rid of all these things, guys. So do check out the link in my bio. Click up their stuff. And if you or a family member or loved one needs help, get the help. It's completely anonymous. They don't care if you're a boy or girl. You want to tell them or not. They're going to help you out. Simple as that. Um, sign up. People who've signed up, they've benefited. Let's move on. So check this out, right? And if you haven't seen the video over here, click this video over here. This is where I was giving dawah to... Did I click the right side? No, here, here, here. Sorry, sorry, I messed up, all right? Click this video right here. Don't do anything here. Click this over here. Um, where I was giving dawah to the person who was about drawing Jesus and all that. Check that video out. I think it's really good. So if you've never seen like. Jesus, how do you know that he looks like this? You want to believe in how you want to believe him? That is totally fine, okay? With all due respect, do that. But I'm just saying, is, doesn't it make more sense to not draw him? Um, a lot of you seem to enjoy videos like that, so definitely you can make more videos like that not a problem i was making uh, there was this one part of the video where people were just walking by and i'm just like these are the kufar they're kufar that's a kufar that's a kufar that's a kufar. how these people are kufar they're kufar that's what they're kufar really they know nothing about islam we're just sitting on our asses doing nothing to educate these people about islam you see our job is to educate people about islam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put certain things in everyone's chests some people have unknowingly done so much haram and wrong and, you know, they don't know that there's so many black dots on their heart. They don't even know. We as Muslims know about the hadith of the black dots or when you do a wrong deed, there's a tiny black dot placed on your heart. We know of it and we still get black dots placed on our heart, even though we are aware and should be self-aware of it. Imagine those who are not. You see, iman exists in everyone's hearts. It is our job to help them uncover it. With the help of Allah and His guidance, of course, Allah will make it easy for them. That's a part of their journey. But it's our job to help them discover the iman that they already have. Not to put it inside of them. They have it. It's something they're born with. They have this. It's the fitrah of, of human beings. It's inside them to worship Allah. Wait for the... Oh my God, guys. The iPad... It's quizzing strangers for an iPad part two is lit... Let me just play a preview right now for you. Hate Islam, but they don't even know the basics of it. Okay, can I give you a hint? Yeah. yeah he's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah, Muhammad. Muhammad. You can give me a... 
Okay, that was an exclusive preview for the iPad video. No one else seen it, but those real ones who watch all my videos. So thank you so much, right? You guys got the preview. And also, shout out to this brother over here, my first Patreon supporter. Do you, do you know what that means to me, guys? Like, my first Patreon supporter, subhanAllah. My wife and I, we were just saying, my wife said, what if no one supports? And I said that no one supports. You know, but this brother was the first one within 24 hours who supported. There's many of you who would like to support the Dawah as well. If you'd like to invest in the Dawah for all the things that I'm doing, you want to be a member, uh, click the link in the description and join my Patreon. There's three tiers. Pick whichever tier works for you or just send me some du'as. If you can't pay, I understand. Times is hard. I get it, right? But coming back to this, right, our default cannot be that people are evil and, oh, they're kuffar. Because when you treat people like kuffar, like, I'm going to blow your mind. When you think and see people as kuffar, you treat them as kuffar. Let me ask you this. If you view someone to be your brother, a family member, a loved one, someone you care about, when you speak to them, wouldn't you speak to them with a little more gentleness and care? Versus a kuffar. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kuffar. Think about it. Wouldn't you? What if you spoke to everyone as a potential Muslim, a potential brother in faith? You see, what's interesting is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can change your heart. Let's see if I can snap. Oh, mashallah, I did it just like that. And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did to the magicians at the time of Musa alayhi salam. You see, those magicians woke up as disbelievers. They woke up as disbelievers, top magicians, the sorcerers, the main sorcerers for Fir'aun, top magicians. Battle comes to the yard. Musa al-Islam, they cast their garbage hocus pocus and it, it, it shows the people as if it's a snake. That's, all right, that was a little extra. Those are only for my Patreon members, okay? The rest of you don't get to see those. I'm just kidding, you all get to see those things, right? Magicians are feeling good about themselves. Then Musa al-Islam comes and he, you know, trusts in Allah and the staff that Allah SWT gave him, drops it. Not only does it become a serpent as well to match, it becomes a better serpent and it destroys their serpents. The magicians, the sorcerers, the top at their level immediately realize what Musa al-Islam brought was not magic. That issue was real. And a magician knows all the tricks. Like, I'm a senior magician. I wouldn't know what trick you're about to pull. When they saw that, they're like, yo, this dude is not playing games. I declare and believe that there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah, and you and your brother are indeed his messengers. They were the first people to accept Islam. Isn't that interesting? Two people who woke up that morning as kuffar, not just kuffar, like magicians, which is the worst profession a person could ever be in. It's disgusting. And then Allah honors them by the evening, making them the first Muslims, people to accept a message of Islam from Musa al-Islam and his brother. And on top of that, dying as martyrs. What else do you want? Look at the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's not going to hold against all the years of haram they did. Because when it was proven to them, their hearts were soft enough by the grace and will of Allah that they accepted the message of Islam. So if you're in a condition right now where you're not the best person that you can be, but you know that you can be better, then trust the process of Allah. Because just like those magicians, you can turn our hearts as well, Allah. Allah, they were doing something crazy. Allah, we're still your servants from the go. Allah, we know better. So Allah, please soften our hearts and change our hearts. Just because last Jummah you were doing something haram doesn't mean that this Jummah you can't be elevated at a higher level. If Allah SWT could do that to those magicians from the evening, from the morning to the evening, what about a week's time with us? You, you, you are selling yourself short to not think that what you can achieve in a day in a week, in a month, in a year, in five years, in 10 years, you're selling yourself short, you could achieve. That problem that you're in right now, oh, it's not again, mashallah, will go away. Things move along, it's raining right now, it doesn't mean it's gonna rain forever. Right now there might be some clouds, emotional clouds, physical clouds in front of you, but just know that it's gonna go away. Allah SWT is gonna take care of everything, so don't lose any hope. And definitely become a Patreon member, <laughs> Dawa supporter in the uh, in the link in the description below, guys. Um, and definitely check out my partners, my Tazkiyah, 
uh, for any types of addictions that you have. They'll hook it up for you guys. They'll fix it for you. Don't live with these problems. But that was essentially the video, guys. You're, you're better than where you are right now. Just because you are someplace right now doesn't mean that that's where you're going to end up and live forever. So just know that things can get better. You can change your environment. You can get better. You could become stronger. You could draw closest to Allah. If you're not playing, praying right now, who's to say that after this video you won't start praying? Who? You. You, no one else, you. So if you think that you won't start praying after this video, then you won't start praying. But guess what? If you believe that you will start praying, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will rush towards you to make things easier for you. Rush towards them. He'll put something in your heart that makes you just want to go make wadu and go pray. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Your heart can switch and turn around just like that. And just like these kuffar that we're calling right now, trust me, trust me, they have iman and beauty inside of them. It just requires a little bit of patience on our end, a little bit of love to talk to them, befriend them, have conversations with them, show them that we're here for you. I'm not trying to give you something new. I'm just trying to clean up what you already have. That was deep. Patreon members, become a Patreon member. Those exclusives are only for Patreon members. I'm joking. They're also for those who watch all my content. So I love and appreciate you guys so, so much. Uh, iPad, Quizzing Strangers for an iPad Part 2 video is coming out very, very soon. And by very, very soon, I mean this Sunday, November 15th. Stay tuned for that. Trust me, you don't want to miss out. What else do I got for ya? I got some more important things for ya, guys. I think so. I think so. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Um, I don't know it right now, but I got a class to go teach right now. About to go do that. Check out some of my other videos. Or between you and me, don't. It's also cool. Wait, was the card up here? I think the card is up here. I done messed up, guys. Uh, but I love you all for the sake of Allah. And I guess until next time, inshallah, that means tomorrow, I'm out.